Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm one of the team leads on Waterloo Rocketry at the University of Waterloo. Today, I'm going to explain how a rocket engine works. So, if you've ever been really into camping, you might have heard of something called the fire triangle. The idea is that you need three components to make a fire. The first is some source of heat, then you need a fuel and an oxidizer. For your campfire, this would be something like your matches, then your logs, and the air around you. On rockets, the same thing applies, but scaled up a lot. On our rocket, we have this igniter puck, which burns like a hot flare and provides that source of heat we need to start the rocket engine. As our fuel, we have this rubber called HTPB. It's the same kind of stuff erasers are made out of, and it's what burns and creates a lot of the thrust. Finally, we have our oxidizer. Rockets need to carry their own source of oxygen with them, so we pump nitrous oxide into the tank to provide that air. So as the fuel and oxidizer mix and burn in the combustion chamber, they generate a lot of hot gases. The question is, why do we want these? How a rocket engine works is it ejects hot gases out one end in order to push it forwards in the other direction using conservation of momentum. How a rocket nozzle works is it directs all of these hot gases. So instead of just having a fireball that puts on a good show, it accelerates them to a few kilometers per second and allows you to get a lot of force and a lot of thrust for relatively little propellant. So I have two platforms here. The first is as if we have a combustion chamber with no nozzle. If I pour the marbles, they're gonna kind of go every which way and not particularly quickly. Now, if we add a ramp, it'll act like a nozzle and we can see that the flow will be a lot more directed. So you can see we have a much more directed flow at a much higher speed, and that's exactly what a rocket nozzle does. While the specific engineering behind a rocket engine can get really complicated really fast, essentially all you need is a fuel, an oxidizer, a source of heat, and a combustion chamber and nozzle to direct these burning gases at super high velocities and launch you into space.